Hello everyone, welcome to the LightBeans e-commerce tutorial. Today I will present the Unit 1 introduction. About this tutorial, all materials in this tutorials come from the LightBeans e-commerce tutorial at lightbeans.org website. The purpose of this series is to help my students to understand the nuts and the bolts of a simple e-commerce application to get familiar with the LightBeans IDE to apply the process they learned to their own project and the real-world use cases. For each unit of the tutorial, I will switch between the PowerPoint presentation and the LightBeans IDE demonstration. I will first use the PowerPoint presentation to summarize the ideas, the concepts, and the tasks for each section in one unit. Then, start from Unit 3, I will use IDE, which is LightBeans IDE, to step through the details of each section in the unit. The approach of this tutorial, by creating a simple yet effective e-commerce application, the students will learn various important features of Java Web and EE development. The tutorial is modularized. Each unit focuses on a specific concepts, technologies, and features of the IDE. From the unit 5 onward, the students can successfully follow a tutorial unit on its own using the provided setup instructions and application snapshot. The most efficient way to study this tutorial is to work through all units consecutively from beginning to the end. By doing so, the students will understand the development process better. The coverage of this tutorial. The concepts covered include the following. Front-end development, web application project structure, data modeling, database connectivity, object relational mapping, session management, transactional business logic, client and server-side validation, localization, web application security, Design patterns include MVC, which is Model View Controller, and the Session Facet. The technologies coverage include HTML, CSS, and JavaScript technologies, Serverlet, the Java Server Page technologies, Enterprise Java Bean technology, Java Persistence API, and the Java Server Page Standard Tag Library, plus Java Database Connectivity, which is JDBC. The development tool coverage includes the LightBeans IDE, GrassFish, which is a Java EE application server, MySQL, which is a relational database management server, MySQL Workbench, which is a virtual database design tool. So, what is an e-commerce application? Briefly, an e-commerce application is a software that allows buying and selling of goods and services over the internet. There are different e-commerce forms. This tutorial focuses on business to customer B2C e-commerce form and applies the typical scenario of a small retail store seeking to create a website enabling customers to shop online. Software that accommodates a B2C scenario generally consists of two components, storefront administration console. This tutorial will guide us through how to develop these two components in a B2C uh, e-commerce form software. So the storefront will be covered from Unit 5 to Unit 10. Storefront include the website that is accessed by customer. This website will enable the customer to purchase goods over the internet. Of course, the data will be displayed on the websites and the web pages. Those data come from the store's catalog. This catalog is typically maintained in a database. And we have different pages will require the data. For example, uh, the page for customer to shop around and the page for checkout, the key page for confirmation, all those pages need to display data and those data, uh, those pages are generated dynamically. 
Then the unit 11 uh, in this tutorial will cover another component, Administration Council. Administration Council is a password protected area that is accessed over a secure connection by store staff for purpose uh, for, of the online management. For example, they will manage the access to the store catalog, manage the discount, update the shipping and the payment options, and the review customer orders. We will use Java to develop this e-commerce application. Then what is Java? Well, in computer software industry, the term Java refers to Java platform as well as the Java programming language. Java as a programming language has the following characteristics. First, it is simple, object-oriented, and familiar because it's originally uh, similar to C++ developed from there. And it is robust and secure, and it is architecture, neutral, and portable. It has high performance, and it is interpreted, threaded, and dynamic. Java as a platform includes Java Virtual Machine, which is an engine that executes instructions generated by the Java compiler and the Java Application Program Interface, API. This is uh, a correction of pre-writing classes, pre-writing code. All those classes are organized into packages of a seminar topic. For example, the AWT package includes classes for creating fonts, menus, and the buttons. Here is a virtual representation of Java 8 platform. You can find this uh, virtual uh, pre, uh, representation on this website. Well, on the website, this uh, picture is interactive. If you click any of this uh, topic, a new window will open uh, to show you the documentation about this subject. So Java EE. Java EE stands for the Java Platform Enterprise Edition. It is built up the Java SE platform, provides a set of technologies for developing and running portable, robust, scalable, reliable, and secure server-side applications. Java EE technologies are loosely divided in two categories. One is web application technology, uh, includes Serverlet, GSP, EL, and GSTL, and more. Another is enterprise application technologies, for example, EJB and JPA. We will study all those through this tutorial. This tutorial, we will use the LightBeans IDE. First, we need to understand what is IDE, why we want to use IDE. The term IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. The purpose of IDE has traditionally been to maximize the developer's productivity by providing tools and support such as a source code editor, a compiler and a build automation tools, a window system for viewing projects and project artifacts, integration with other commonly used services, debugging support, profiling support. They are more benefited by using IDE. IDE also typically handle project compilation and deployment in a way that is transparent to you as a developer. IDE also provide templates for various file types and often enable you to add them to your project by suggesting common locations and including default configuration information where necessary. IDE typically provide interface to external tools and services, for example, application and database server, web servers, debugging and profiling facilities, and the collaboration tools, which are indispensable to your work if Java development is your profession. Finally, IDEs usually provide enhanced editor support. Now, why we use LightBeans IDE? Well, first, LightBeans IDE is a free, open-source, integrated development environment writing entirely in Java. The LightBeans IDE offers a range of tools for creating professional desktop, enterprise, 
web and mobile application with the Java language, C, C++, and even scripting languages such as PHP, JavaScript, Groove, and Ruby. For more information about Java programming language, Java platform, Java EE, and NetBeans IDE, please visit netbeans.org website. The acknowledgement. This is the end of Unit 1. The next unit will be Unit 2, Design the Application. Again, all materials come from netbeans.org website. If you have any questions, please email me.